to get to Lake Como, we got the €4.60 train from Milan Central. It was honestly so easy and it took about 35 minutes on the train, which was amazing. This was our last day in Milan, so we thought we would make the most of our half day and spend it in Lake Como. We've both never been before and this was our first time visiting, so we really, really didn't know what to expect. We've arrived and what a view to be doing our makeup in. We're doing our makeup because the trains were a rush this morning, but we're here. We have just finished our makeup and we're gonna go and head out. We've booked for our bags to be kept at a hotel, I think. We did it on, what was it called? Not Stasha. Bounce. And it was, I think, seven euros each. So it's gonna be worth it because we're gonna be here for the day. So it's good to, our bags are quite heavy now because we bought things and we were kind of dying this morning walking to, walking to the station with our bags. So yeah, we're putting the bags in the lockers and then we're gonna go and explore. We've got five hours. So we're gonna make the most of this sunny, sunny day. This is the most scenic view already and we're already in love and we haven't even seen any water yet so I don't even know how many pictures we're going to be taking today. So sunny. We don't even have any plans, which is nice. We're just walking, seeing where it takes us. We want to potentially have like a picnic or something, but we need to find a supermarket. And we also want to eat at one of the restaurants, but we have no idea where they are. We're just walking and enjoying it. Okay, so turns out that wasn't a bridge. It was not a bridge to walk past. We could see that there were restaurants over there. We thought we were going to walk towards them. But it's just kind of like it's just a long stretch over the water, and then like a little circle where everyone can sit. It is still amazing and good view. Another day, another rough roll. <laughs> We're just sat here in front of, I don't even, it looks like a cathedral mm. in Como. It's really nice, it's a cute little square type thing. Really, really nice. We're gonna maybe get some food from a supermarket or something and then go to the lake after this. So, cheers. So after our little pit stop, we did some more walking and exploring. We just completely explored this little town. And then we came across this little water fountain with turtles, which was so cute. The time flew so much. So then we went to Carrefour. We set up our things on this little bit of greenery that we found in front of the mountains. And we just enjoyed ourselves. We didn't have too long here. And yeah, loved it. We have a perfect view. We've sat down, we've got some food from the supermarket. I got this paella, which looks really good. 
and carrots and hummus. <laughs> You've actually gone a lot more healthy than me. <laughs> and look at this like shrimp thing. Looked really nice. The queue was a lot bigger than we thought, so we're not even going to get much time here now. But it's worth it because of what we're looking at. <laughs> Good paella. I forgot a spoon, so we're using a mussel. Lucy's idea. <laughs> It works amazing. <laughs> it's time for us to go. We're so sad. This is the view that we've been sitting at. We've literally just been having a little picnic here. So, so lovely. We were only here six hours, so definitely want to come back because six hours was nowhere near enough. I feel like we literally sat down, had a drink. And then, I don't know, we've been walking around, but it has not felt like six hours at all. We were only here for like half an hour, but so happy with the view and that we got to do it. Six hours was definitely worth it. It was like four euro 60 from Milan Central. So if you're thinking about doing it for half a day, do it. And you can come back and experience it another time because that's our plan. What a beautiful day. It's too sunny. We've got these massive, <laughs> massive bags. <laughs> so from here, it cost us about 10 euros and we took this train straight to the airport. And this was it of our little four day long weekend trip to Milan. And we also did Venice and obviously Como as you just saw. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little series that I did on YouTube. We had so much fun and we definitely want to do it again. And by the way, this was honestly the best focaccia I've ever, ever had. So if you go to Milan Airport, you need it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.